going to be sharing with you a couple of Apple TV tips and tricks, so let's get started. First, I will be showing you how to create VLC video and music playlists for files on your local NAS, which can be played on your iPhone, iPad, and Apple TV 4. Let me go ahead and open up the VLC media player for Windows and select the menu options, View, then Playlists. I will be adding videos from various NAS folders into three playlists. Make sure when you drop and drag videos into the playlist, do it from its fully qualified network name versus a map drive like H colon. I'm also going to make a music playlist as well. Next, open up each of the playlists in a file editor and change file colon to SMB colon and save. One quirky thing that this hack requires is for there to be at least two XSPF playlist files either in the same folder or for one XSPF file to be in the main folder and another XSPF file to be in the subfolder in order for the VLC playlist to play properly. Basically, VLC requires access to any two XSPF files in order for a playlist to run. If you want to create a single playlist file, you will need to make a duplicate copy of that playlist in the same folder. All the VLC playlist files in a folder will be played sequentially in a continuous loop. Please note VLC playlist files are only accessible from VLC SMB devices and not from DLNA devices. The VLC iPhone app currently does not support AC3, EAC3, and MLP audio encodings. Videos with these codecs will show video only. Demo of the VLC playlist on an iPhone. VLC playlist on an Apple TV 4. The next hack I'm going to show is streaming the same Kodi PC onto an iPhone, Apple TV 2, and Apple TV 4 with no jailbreaking required on any of these devices. Demo of Kodi PC streaming on an iPhone.
demo of Kodi PC streaming on an Apple TV too. Demo of Kodi PC streaming on an Apple TV 4. This Kodi setup is completely portable and can also stream to any Chromecast, Roku, Android phone or tablet on 4G or any Wi-Fi locally and remotely using the Sling Box. There will be demo and setup links in the description box below. So why choose one device to stream to when you can stream to them all? Keep an eye out for my next video hack on how a SanDisk Connect wireless streaming stick can be used as an auxiliary 256 GB wireless streaming device with playlists that are accessible from an iPhone, iPad, Chromecast, Roku, and Apple TV 4 with an unlimited number of attached simultaneously streaming devices versus their listed three streaming device limit. Thanks for watching.